Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Phone Arena with a video review of the Huawei Ascend D Quad XL. Huawei is taking the high road that uh, Apple and Samsung have already taken, designing an ARM-based uh, processor of its own to power this uh, flagship phone here. The chassis of the Huawei Ascend D Quad XL doesn't include premium or exclusive materials. It's an all-around plastic build. The handset is uh, much thicker compared to other Android flagships and the weight is uh, above average too. The construction uh, doesn't feel solid, mainly thanks to the flexing uh, back cover which emits a hollow sound when you knock on it, hinting at the oodles of uh, unutilized space beneath it. The phone feels uh, big and heavy in your hands, but it's fairly comfortable to hold thanks uh, to this salty shape rounded corners and the patterned uh, plastic on the back of the battery cover here that helps uh, to grip it tighter and uh, the battery cover is very easy to pry open. Huawei Ascend D Quad XL has a thumbs up for expandability though as it offers a regular SIM card slot and a place for a memory card. It uh, would have nailed the holy trinity here if it had a removable battery but the beefy 2600 uh, milliampere unit is under a cover with uh, four small screws that have to be taken out. There's uh, one notification light up here that gets illuminated in different colors for missed calls and messages uh, and hints at the charging status. The 4.5 inch 720 by 1280 pixels display is very good worthy of the phone's uh, Android flagship status. Colors are vibrant plus the contrast and viewing angles are in line with uh, what the best IPS LCD mobile screens are offering. When we add the very high 326 ppi pixel density, there's nothing to complain about in the screen except it's uh, somewhat uh, muted brightness in direct sunlight which uh, doesn't deliver anything above average. Let's have a look at how the interface looks like on the screen. There are no surprises in the interface of the Huawei Ascend D Quad XL as it is almost a stock Android ice cream sandwich with uh, just a few utility applications like a file manager, flashlight or an app installer sprinkled on top. It also almost feels like uh, a Nexus device this way, save for the part that a Nexus device uh, would be running Jelly Bean by now. And here we have ice cream sandwich but we digress. The weather widget, the connectivity toggles or the music widget, they are all Google or popular items from the Play Store. No manufacturer overlays to get in the way with the Ascend D Quad XL, so Jelly Bean and further updates should be very easy for Huawei to do. This uh, stock ICS interface we find on the phone is fluid and moves very quickly powered by the Homebrew 1.5 GHz quad-core silicon dubbed K3V2 not R2-D2, it utilizes the ARM Cortex A9 architecture, just like its more famous brethren from the Exynos 4 series Tegra 3 or Snapdragon S4 lines, and shows performance on par with them in the benchmarks. In fact, uh, only the quad-core Snapdragon S4 Pro is much ahead in synthetic tests than Huawei's, Huawei's K3 V2, so you can rest assured no upper launcher you throw at it will feel underpowered. The graphics subsystem also showed excellent results which were up with the best out there. Uh, we were especially pleased with uh, the reaction to the accelerometer and the phone also offers a fast boot mode like HTC's handsets which uh, makes the device operational within seconds after pressing the power key at the top. The phone has one gigabyte of RAM and just eight gigabytes of internal memory of which a little bit above 5 are user available but it does have a micro SD slot. As you can see it scored 4334 on Quadrant. The stock Android ICS browser performs uh, admirably on the Huawei Ascend D Quad XL with uh, very fluid panning, zooming and rapid scrolling inertia. Of notable absence is the lack of uh, Adobe Flash support out of the box which can be side loaded on ice cream sandwich though. Download speeds with the included pentabun radio top at 21 megabits per second on an HSP plus network if a carrier can deliver those of course. And Huawei's device also support 
a suite of other connectivity options like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 3.0, a GPS FM radio and DLNA streaming, but lacks uh, NFC connectivity. Wired connectivity is taken care of by the MHL port on the left. The Music Plus app that is taking care of your tunes collection on the Ascend Quad XL is pretty basic uh, in terms of sound enhancements. Only offering a Dolby Digital Plus for mobile on-off switch, which makes quite a lot of difference. As you can see, it boosts the sound intensity quite a bit. The app does categorize your tunes by albums, genres, playlists, artists, and even folders. And it also offers nice uh, visualizations and cover art, as you can see. The loudspeaker is of above average strength and quality with no unpleasant hissing and crackling sounds, even at the maximum volume. Video playback is uh, top notch with the handset running every format you throw at it out of the box. Up to 1080, as you can see, this video is 1920 by 1080 DivX video, and the phone runs it with no problems. The stock video player is pretty basic though as you can see only the Dolby Mobile on-off switch is here and that's about it so you're better off downloading something else from the Play Store like the MX player. This uh, Dolby Digital Plus for mobile for surround sound mode is present here in video mode and makes quite a difference boost the sound intensity pretty audibly. The 8 megapixel rear shooter on the phone sports a dual LED flash and the phone enters very quickly the camera interface when you tap the icon. The camera is also pretty snappy when focusing and taking a shot about a second or two depending uh, on the lighting conditions of course. There is uh, an HDR mode along with the stock panorama and the funny faces option here and Huawei throws in a low light mode as well and a number of color effects you can apply to your pictures and video. Detail is somewhat less than what we would expect in pictures from an 8 megapixel camera but the phone usually nails the white balance and the photos look uh, eye pleasing with the high contrast and saturated colors that Huawei's processing algorithms embed by default. Noise is sometimes an issue, especially indoors at low light when it ratchets up significantly. The dual LED flash is fairly weak too and doesn't distribute the light evenly, leaving overexposed regions very often. The handset records a 1080 video with 30 frames per second, but the frames go down to 24 in sight and the autofocus starts wandering around when the lights dim down. Continuous autofocus uh, doesn't work well either, forcing you to tap on the screen for focusing on a nearby object while recording and then you have to return focus to the background by tapping on it again. Huawei has grown a lot from the manufacturer of cheap low and mid-range phones we knew and the Ascendi Quad XL offers high-end features and launch price that are commensurate with the current Android flagships. The phone is positioned to stand a chance against Android juggernauts from Samsung, LG or Sony so it offers everything they do like a powerful quad-core processor and HD screen but wrapped in quite the thick and uh, uninspiring body. This plastic and rather chubby construction is a major gripe with the phone, along with the uh, jittery autofocus when recording video. Huawei did utilize the ample space inside, however, to throw in the largest battery capacity in its class, so the design trade-off might be acceptable for some. Direct competition to the Huawei Ascend Quad XL is the LG Optimus 4X HD which comes at about the same price and offers uh, very similar specs down to the jittery autofocus. It has a very slim and eye-pleasing body in comparison though, plus it sports a slightly larger display. The HC One X is also similar pricing with a more toned body and screen that is larger and brighter, but its lack of memory expansion slot is a turn off. Sony Xperia T should also be noted as a competitor to the Huawei Ascent uh, D Quad XL and it has the same chubby physique as this phone here while offering uh, a better camera. With the 15 hours of talk time though, Huawei's phone one-ups its direct competition in battery capacity which makes it uh, a very serious contender in the Android battle. As uh, 
Pros for the phone will point out the flagship hardware package at an affordable price, best in class uh, battery capacity and the band to band GSM radio for worldwide usage. The cons are the finicky autofocus in uh, video mode and this here chubby and plasticky feeling in the hand. This was a video review of the Huawei Ascent D Quad XL from Phone Arena. For more information about this and other handsets, you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.